Crown Zenith is officially out, and uh, I was able to get some products on the first day, or at least a product, <laughs> and I'll be opening that up. But I also have a few other boxes as well that I've been meaning to open up that actually kind of sort of fit in with this video, but um, you'll see. Welcome to Casual Cards, my name is Ben, and yeah, we got Crown Zenith officially launched today, as of the recording of this video, uh, January 20th. So, of course, I had to open some up, and I was able to get some, which is even better, which is honestly unusual for me. But along with that, I have a few other boxes you may have seen, maybe not have seen, um, but I wanted to open them up too, because they represent the future of Pokemon. That being... The Scarlet and Violet generation, which, uh, you know, came out on uh, the Switch a few months back. Uh, they released the very first products that have the new generation of cards, which are these three promos, which you see here. We'll go into those the details a little later. But I have the uh, the Sprigatito, I have the uh, Fuecoco, and I have the Quaxley boxes. Each one of these comes with, I believe it's only four booster packs three promos, and then a jumbo card of either Maridon or Coridon. Hopefully I'm saying these names correctly, I don't know. <laughs> but a jumbo card of each one of these, which is interesting, because normally the jumbo card is just a jumbo of whatever you get in the box, which this is not. It's just like a good sampling of, you know, Scarlet and Violet. This is the beginning. You know, you get the starters and then the legendary that was given to you. But along with those boxes, we have the, uh, probably, the thing that I'm most excited that maybe you guys are too, which would be Crown Zenith, the newest set. So I have the Pokemon Center uh, Elite Trainer Box Plus right here. Uh, these retail for $65. Um, I believe the other boxes I showed you retail for $20 each. So this one's a little pricey. Um, you do get quite a few things in it, you'll see here shortly. But before I get into that... I will get into the other boxes. Well, uh, I guess you could say we'll save the best for last. So yeah, these come with a cool pin too, which you can see there. Um, nice boxes, you know, this is the start of a new generation. It's been, I think, three years now. I think Sword and Shield and the cards came out early 2020. And here it is, early 2023. Three years later, <laughs> finally have a new generation. And yeah, they're bringing back the EX cards, which you can see there. Which is cool. Um, box is a little glued. <laughs> there we go. Got some new lights. Hopefully you can see it alright. So we'll take a look at the uh, the pin first. A little quaxly there. Very nice. It's got the uh, like the pompadour looking thing. <laughs> I do like uh, Fue Coco myself, but you know. Here is the Maridon Jumbo card. Very cool looking. I did choose uh, Violet as my game, so I did get Maridon, which is nice. Cool card. For the packs, we have two Silver Tempest and looks like two Brilliant Stars. And no code card in there. Maybe it's behind these. Let us see. Yep, sure is. <laughs> Let's get into that first. I will show you this one. Here's the code card. Boom. We have the Quaxley, which I believe this is different for each box. The other ones are kind of repeats. So these are promos. Kind of hard to see there, but this is a new, well, new border for one thing. You can see it's silver now instead of the yellow. Um, we have the actual promo number, which is uh, Scarlet and Violet promo, so SVP. 003. So this is the, the very first promo cards for Scarlet and Violet. And here we have Sprigatito, which appears actually just to be a common from the Scarlet and Violet set, which is not even out yet. So we're getting kind of like a preview of the new uh, new set, which comes out in March, I believe, the end of March. And here's Fue Coco. And they're common as well. That's very interesting. These are cool boxes. I think they, they, they do this with each one of the uh, new sets, or the um, the new generations. They always kind of release just a few little uh, teaser cards. 
So we'll do some sleeves for these guys, at least for the first few. I am a fan of the silver borders, I will say. I mean, the yellow ones were very iconic. They've always been that way for 25 years. So, it's a little different. Um, let me know what you guys think. What, what, what are your opinions? Do you like the silver borders or the, the original yellows? Um, Japan's been doing the silver ones for a while. I'm not sure how long, but quite a while. Maybe since forever, I'm not sure. <laughs> so here's Fue Coco. Another box. Same ride on. These are kind of like random. Any box could get e either one of these. It's just luck of the draw. And we have the Fue Coco pin. Very cute, cuddly. Kind of, kind of derpy. <laughs> and we have the same packs. Looks like two Silver Tempest and two Brilliant Stars. Like that making a whole bunch of mess here. We'll get to these cards here. Maybe. Maybe not. Code card for you. Alright, so here is the actual promo, which is Flay Coco. Of course. Let's get all these sleeves out of here. I was only kind of prepared. <laughs> so there's Flay Coco, which is number two, looks like, promo. Um, we have the same Sprigatito. But a different Quaxley, because now this is the actual common from the set. So we'll sleeve that one up. So yeah, we're going to have two copies of each base one, and then one copy of each promo. Uh, I'll sleeve all these, but... Put them up there. Alright, last but not least, we got Sprigatito, the little grass cat. Don't worry, we'll get in the crown zine up here shortly. Just you wait. It's coming. Okay, so there's Quaxley again. I'm doing these in not in the same order at all. Here's the same Flight Coco common. A code card. <laughs> And here is the promo for Sprigatito number one. I know it's kind of hard to see this uh, distance here, but this is what we got. So we'll do that. Oops, we'll leave these guys here. We got a pin for Sprigatito. Adorable little cat. Look at that. Kid cat. We have the Coridon now. So we did get one of those, luckily. Look at all the... Uh, same starburst pattern as like in the uh, the base sets. That's interesting. Just a lot more of it. Wonderful see return. I have no clue what the actual um, hollow pattern they'll choose this time around. Hopefully, it's a little more interesting than the last few generations. They've been kind of meh. <laughs> two more silver tempest and two more brilliant stars. So actually, a pretty solid uh, pack selection here. All right, so we have all quite a bit of packs here. Um, we'll do our usual thing, you know, we'll get into the other box here, make sure we get all the packs ready to go. So here is the big one. We'll use one of these pins we just got to open this one up. Might as well. Yeah, this is a Pokemon Center exclusive, so only Pokemon Center carries these products. At least this particular box. The, uh, Obviously, it's just Pokemon Center on there, you know. No surprise where it came from. Box is very fancy. And yeah, this is the very last set of the Sword and Shield era. I've been collecting, again, in modern for the entirety of Sword and Shield, basically, so. This is, uh, kind of emotional. <laughs> Here's a player's guide. We will not open up because I want to spoil it because I have no clue what cards are in the set. I've been. Keeping myself in the dark deliberately. Don't want any spoilers. Here's the box. I'm not sure why Lucario was the mascot for this set, but whatever. You know, Lucario's cool. You got crowns all over it. Alright. This little, uh, well, let's see here. Pull out some of these things. So the deck, uh, the uh, Pokemon Center 
exclusive box comes with a deck box, which I do not believe the regular one comes with. We'll see soon. I got one on the way. Let me move this cardboard here. Uh, we have, you know, the usual energies. Don't need those. We have some nice gold sleeves here. Okay, right, let's see what kind of... Are these the old school ones or the new... Yep, the semi, the opaque ones. Not a fan of this stuff. Ooh, we have the uh, Lucario V-Star promo. This thing looks awesome. Kind of like an alt art V-Star. Big fan of that. That's very cool. Ooh, look at these dividers. Actual, like, hollow, shiny dividers with a little spike. These are very unique. We'll keep those. Um, the important thing here, of course, would be the Crown Zenith packs. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve packs. Which I think is normal for the uh, like holiday sets um, from the Pokemon Center ones. They're all Zacian on the, uh, the pack art. Got some nice gold dice. Love me some gold dice. Actual metal ones. Uh, we have the uh, status counters, burn and poison, also gold, very shiny. And then we have a coin, which probably has Lucario on it. Sure does. Lucario. And then a Pokeball. We'll keep all these in there, but we'll leave the packs out. Very cool box, big fan. One more time. Shiny, gold, and blue, and black. Very cool. All right, now we'll get uh, into the packs here and see what we get. All right, we have our packs here. We have uh, our 12 Crown of Zenith, six Brilliant Stars, and six Silver Tempest. So we have 24 packs. Um, I will open up the Crown of Zenith last, of course, because that's the important ones here. Uh, we will start with Silver Tempest and work our way back. Still love that Lugia. Uh, the Regidrago alternate art. Uh, the Lugia. Rainbow Rare. <laughs> Let's start the card trick on the first pack. There we go. Therathorn. Raichu. Let me move these cards here. Honchcrow. Togemaru. Petalil. Pikachu. A Grelaf. A Clink. Indeedy. Incineroar for the rare. Obviously these are random packs, no guarantee for anything. <laughs> like always, you guys know the drill by now probably. Wilmer, Murkrow, Emolga, a Clang, Ariatus, Hollow Rare, Ooh. <laughs> and an Energy. I'll sort that later. Boop. Code cards are always good. Petalil, Litten, Murkrow, something that'll have would be great. Anything. Wailmer. Keldeo. It's alright. I'm not in it for these. Obviously, we want the Crown Zenith packs. Again, I have no clue what's in them. I assume the set's awesome. The Pokemon never ends a generation with a bad set. It's always something ridiculous. Every time. Snorunt, Curlia, Skuntank, okay, got an Ultra, that is something. I think I might average one or two Ultra Airs per set here in the first couple. Take what I can get, honestly. <laughs> Wilmer, Murkrow, Mulga, Meditite. A Dragonair reverse. Really? <laughs> Alright, I've now pulled three Gold Lugia V-Stars. I mean, it's cool. I'll, I'll take them. Uh, but I would really love that Rainbow Rare. Thank you. I, I, again, I won't complain about the Gold Lugias, but man. <laughs> I can't what? <laughs> 
I have enough, thank you. Well, I think Silver Tempest definitely um, did well here. Plenty, plenty good. Litten, Murkrow, a Duosian, a Dragonite Hollow. Love me some Dragonite. All right, into Brilliant Stars. Let's just get us a uh, alternate art Charizard here while we're at it, huh? Why not? All right, ask you. Let me ask you a question here. Relu, a Burmy, Star you, Dusclops. Huh. The cards are stuck together. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> uh. Talk about a hidden surprise. <laughs> Ultra Ball and Gold. I really wanted this one too. I would love a full set of gold uh, Pokeballs. Look at that. And it was stuck to the reverse. That's very strange. Well, we are now uh, two gold cards in. Uh, both quite good, actually. You know, a really nice Pokemon and a really nice uh, gold trainer. Ending the uh, Sword and Shield era. Strong, apparently. Looks like it knew better. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't have the Ultra Ball. Pretty sure. Weasel. Gibble. Trapinch. Cast form. I'm just surprised. Eevee. Nice. And a Kirchhoff Hollow. We're actually doing really well here. Got Hollows, Trainer Gallery cards. I mean, the EV's pretty decent, honestly, for a trainer gallery. Got a, uh, another pack here. Brilliant Star is definitely pulling its own weight, too. I'm not disappointed with either one of these. Maybe these boxers are just lucky. <laughs> Chimchar, Machino, Ball Toy, Snow Runt, Flygon, and a Gramble. Another Ultra Rare. Huh. Nothing too crazy, but hey, ultra is an ultra. So I averaged uh, two ultras now per set out of six packs. That is incredible. <laughs> That's uh, one per three packs, which is already above average. And two of them happen to be gold cards. So, you know. Impy Nimp. A Clink. And a Braylon. And an Energy. Ooh. All right, almost done here. And then we shall move into Crown Zenith. This has already been an exciting opening, honestly. We're not even at the main event here, but yeah, hopefully it's it'll keep up with it. But it's already kind of hard, so I, yeah. <laughs> A choice belt. Deja vu. Two Brelooms. Code card. Duskull, Sneasel, Corfish, Magmar, Spiritomb, Axew, Wins of God. Another Ultra Rare. So, Brilliant Stars did really well. Uh, every other pack had an Ultra Rare. Alright. The important stuff here. I'm gonna get a few more sleeves ready. Hopefully, I'll need them. 12 Crown Zenith Packs. Oh, sorry, they have both dogs. Zashi and Zamzana. For some reason, they they fused in my brain. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, look at these card packs. A lot of gold. I think I'll do the card tricks for all these, because I have no clue what's in them. So we're going to be uh, slow rolling these here. Alright. Ooh, energy. Special. So let's see, 159 cards, actually not that big compared to others, like Brilliant Stars had 172, um, Silver Tempest had 195, so this is actually one of the smaller sets in recent time. Alright, 
a great ball, soul rock, trekking shoes, execute, a love disc, emolga, Yanma, ponyard, a bead, which appears to maybe have some, like a signature of some kind there. <laughs> Interesting. Reverse rare. And a Pangoro. Okay. Interesting. So, nothing too crazy out of the first pack. That's alright. Can't expect too much. Again, we've already pulled two gold cards. So, two pretty decent gold cards, no less. May have blown all the luck here. The Digging Duo. Energy Switch. A Pokemon Catcher. Happy Whalmer. Happy Shinx. Happy Corfish. <laughs> not sure about the Ponyard. Happy Seal. Eh, chat out. Kind of sleepy looking. And a Zera Aura, which is very sleepy. It's a cool card. I dig it. Alright. So definitely no guaranteed hollows in any of these. Which I'm, I wasn't expecting, but, you know, they've been known to do that in the holiday sets. Ultra Ball, we just got you as an old, uh, gold card. <laughs> Electric, okay. Lost Vacuum, a Ryolu, a Young Goose, Truby. Hopefully we can get a couple decent cards to see what's actually in this set here. 12 packs is pretty decent. Okay, we got a Magnezone from Trainer Gallery set. That's very nice. Which, holy, has 70 cards in it. The usual one has 30. This has got two and a half times almost. Wow. That's huge. Okay. Huh. And a Hoopa Hollow. Cool. Well, um... I take back what I said about the main set not being that big, because there's 70 cards here. This is going to be a tough one to complete. I guess I need to open up like a thousand packs, huh? <laughs> I got plenty on the way. Let's see what we can do. This is just a first taste. Tangela! Got a ball toy. Whoa. Got a Meowth. I did not do the card trick. Got a Leon. A reverse with the cool little signature there. Ooh, a Leafeon. We got some evolutions back here. Leafeon V. Very nice. Got an energy. Uh, the digging duo. Of course, you're back. A Croc Rock. Friends and Sinnoh. I bet this is a ultra rare. That's kind of cool. Alright. Nice. Leafeon. That's kind of cool. Who doesn't like a good evolution? Yep, totally forgot the pack trick there. Don't worry, I'll do it. I swear I'll do it. Alright. Got Alexio. Oh, it's cute. So we have a Lux right here. <laughs> Got a Shaman. Yanma. Ponyard. The Ponyard. The Badoof. Got a Potion. A Mr. Mime. Ooh, Lunatone. Well, that's cool looking. Okay, and behind it we have a Pangoro. Nothing too crazy yet with the actual rares. We got the one ultra rare, but just a V. Hopefully I can get at least one cool card out of these 12. <laughs> but you never know. You never know. It's just an elite trainer box. Got a B-sharp. Graveler. Potion. Galaria Mr. Mime. A Sunkern. A Coughing. An Oddish. Okay, we're doing Reverse Energies. Sweet. I love Reverse Energies. So shiny. Well, I need all those now. And we have an Enamorous. Well, I am sleeving up the energy because I love me some shiny energies. Not quite a gold one, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> they do usually do those. A full set of shiny energies. They did that, I think, in... Um, 
Champion's Path, I think it was? I never did get all this. I didn't buy enough packs. Lunatone, but don't worry, I'll fix it in this one. Got Lunatone and Soul Rock back to back. That's cool. Rare Candy and Execute. So we have a chance for Trainer Galleries and uh, uh, Reverse Energies. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Furloin, a Love Disc. A Chat Hot. A Love Disc again. Ooh. Sky Seal Stone. Cool. These cards are neat. I like them. The V Star items. That Forest Seal Stone from the left side was actually worth quite a bit of money. Must have been playable. No clue about these. Set just came out. I guess we'll know in a couple weeks if they're good or not. Giraffe Rig. A Pinkerchin. Love Disc. A Chat Hot. Yanma. Ponyard. The Badoof. Ooh. Hollow. Or it's reverse hollow. Uh, metal energy. And the gumshoes. <laughs> Fine. You know what? Constellation Prize energies here. They do look neat though, with the cool like the V Star energy pattern. Shiny. Alright. Got a few packs left here. Still some hope. All hope is not lost. Oops, almost uh, <laughs> didn't give me the code guard. All right, ooh, deja vu. A non-shiny one. Crushing hammer, a Luxio. We got another Luxio, so we have two different sets of each one, looks like. Scyther cutting down some bamboo. That's cool. Riellu. A young goose. Cherubi. Starly. Absol trainer gallery. That looks amazing. I've always liked Absol too. Look at the cool rainbow pattern. Very nice. And is there aura? <laughs> you know what? If nothing else. We're getting a lot of the trainer gallery cards, so that's not bad. I guess it's, yeah, it's better than getting nothing, right? These reverse slots have been great. Energies, trainer gallery cards couple of cool trainers. Ultra Ball. Crushing Hammer. Electric. Raildo. Young Goose. Cool Ultra would be nice though. Just one, honestly. Got the Leafy on, I guess. We got a Bidoof. Okay, a Rayquaza V, which is weird. It just looks like a reprint from the deck. Or even from Evolving Skies, I'm not sure, but that art looks very familiar. Either way, Rayquaza is cool. No complaints here. Two Ultra Rares now. And two packs left. So we got Evolutions, we got some cool dragons. I'd like to see what else we have. A lot of times the Ultra Rares are just kind of like fill-ins. In the uh, bonus sets. Well, holiday sets. That's a gloom with his eyes open. That's... Creepy. That's weird. <laughs> My mind is blown here. Oh, an Aeron. Eating some uh, wheels. You little rascal. Corfish. Energy search. I searched for a hollow fighting energy, apparently. And an Amorous. Didn't search for you, though. Alright, we have one pack left. Let's get some last pack magic here on this awesome new set. Please. Thank you. I mean, at 12 packs, honestly, two Ultra is not great. But, I, again, I kind of blew all my luck on this gold card, so... It is what it is. A Laron. Friends in Sinnoh. Gloom. Creep Gloom. Potion. Aeron again. This looks oddly familiar. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, Scyther. <gasps> oh. Is this a alternate art V star? It is. It's in the well, I guess this isn't trainer gallery, right? It's whatever GG is. 
All right, this is a solid pull, I do believe. I mean, I have no clue. But that's amazing. But is there something behind it? Let's find it. There is! Wow! Rotom V-Star. <laughs> My hand was getting sweaty. Um, let's see. Okay, yeah. Rotom V-Star, you know. Kind of... Leafy on stole the uh, spotlight here. So, this card looks amazing. I like Leafeon. Leafeon's probably my number three. I like Jolteon, Umbreon, Leafeon. Uh, yeah, this, this is this is cool. So we have, yeah, like, alternate art and V-Star cards. This set's probably got some really cool cards in it. 70, I mean, this is number 35, so there's probably a lot more after. Either way, I'll take it. Um... So, for Ultra Rares and or Trainer Galleries, we got a few here. Just a few. Got an Absol. Magnazone. Lunatone. 11 there. Leafeon V. Equaza V. Rotom V Star. And a Leafeon V Star. So, out of 12 packs. That actually wasn't that bad. <laughs> All those extra special set cards, that made a big difference. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. Seven pulls out of 12 packs. Not bad. And of course, uh, here's a better look at that Lucario too. Actually very cool looking. And the gold card to pulled. Ultra Ball Lugia. Not a bad opening, guys. Pretty pleased with it. <laughs> of course, that last pack just had to really... I mean, look look at... That, that is... That's a last pack right there. Obviously, it could have been, like, rainbows or gold cards or whatever. I don't care. That Leafeon's amazing. I'm standing by it. Well, uh, that is it for this opening. Uh, a nice look at the Crown Zenith, the newest set, and even a little sneak peek into the new generation Scarlet and Violet. Plenty more on the way, guys. So, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you can. I really appreciate it. Leave a comment down below. What are your thoughts on this new set? What are your thoughts on the way the new cards look with the silver borders and not the yellow? Let me know. I'm curious. But until next time, guys. Take it easy.